If you want it, you will find time in your life to do it. If you don't want it, you will continue to do exactly what you're doing now is give me excuses. You're going to make up every excuse on why you can't do it. And that's why I can't connect with you. That's why you hear the passion come out of me. And you mm. want to say it's anger? No, because I know it can be done. And you're telling me all this shit on why it can't be done. And then what you do is, he's crazy. He's in a cat. No, you don't want it bad enough. If you want it bad enough, you will figure out how to make this shit happen. You need one day off? Okay, fine. But don't take it today. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact, okay? Every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one motherfucking plan, and that is they are gonna win or they are gonna die fucking trying. Get yourself in the game. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and get after it. People who go all in, the motherfuckers who burn the ships and leave themselves no other option but success, those people are dedicating all their skills, all their resources, all their energy into producing a specific outcome. And if you're competing against someone who's going all in with every resource they have and you're only going half in because you're half in and you're half fucking out, guess what? You're gonna lose. The problem with many of you is that you got fooled. You got complacent. You got lazy. Somewhere along the line, you lost your enthusiasm, your optimism. You lost your hunger. Excuses are always available. They'll always be available. You can grab them, snatch them, buy into them anytime that you want. To those that lose, but to the winners, the people who win, what you will find is that they have the exact same excuses readily available, but they just chose not to use it. Excuses such as, I'm tired, I'm burned out, my girl said this, my back hurts, I don't have time, I didn't get enough sleep, they have better resources, my area's too far, I'm too small, I'm too busy, it's too early. No, you got too many excuses. That's the issue, we got too many excuses. To get to the promised land, you're gonna have to do and go through some stuff and get through some things, but only temporarily. So you guys out there with your plan B mentality, you need to take that shit, crumple it up, and set it on fucking fire. I didn't want to be a ranger. I didn't, I hate, I, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. Uh -huh. I'm afraid of cold, dark water. That's why I was the only 36 African American in 70 years to become a SEAL. Right. <laughs> okay? Okay, I, I was 300 pounds twice in my life. Um, so basically... And you hate running. And I hate running. But people people <laughs> say every day, they, they tell me all like, the time... that can't be true. That can't be... You know what? So believe what you want. Think I'm crazy, because why you think this? Because you can't see yourself going further than what you can. So you want to put a tag on David Goggins, well, tag me. I'm sorry to say, I say beyond motivated because it takes that to be successful. I may motivate you right now. If you're living in Chicago and it's minus two degrees and I motivate you to get out of your house and go run two miles, but that wind chill hits your face once you go outside, that motivation is going to go away real fast. Mm -hmm. You go back inside and sit your ass on that couch. A person that's driven and passionate, they go outside, feel that wind chill, they go back inside to get a new hat. Because I'm going to get my damn running today. Right. Make it happen. Through force of will, make it happen. Don't be weak. Pain is temporary. Pride is forever. Please, this week, let's limit the excuses. If we want something bad enough, we're going to find a way to get it. We are programmed this way mentally as human beings. Our mind will work until we find a way or we'll work until we find an excuse. So if you provide your mind the excuse, your mind and your body will then shut down, thus cheating you from your true destiny. The knees are all fucked up. You gotta find something that does. We're all being tested in life. Some of us lay the fuck down. Others find a way around the motherfucker. So 
I found a way around the motherfucker. In life, it's not about failing. Failing's inevitable. It's about keeping the fucking motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. Everything that you want to go to the next level, everything that you're looking to accomplish is going to lie right outside of your comfort zone. As a matter of fact, there's a quote that I love, and it says that life begins right outside of your comfort zone, or life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And so you don't begin to start living. You don't begin to start knowing some things about yourself until you're willing to make the commitment to get uncomfortable. Those that want to go to that, quote, next level, will find that it's lonely on your way up to that next level because you're doing the work. Then people will take the elevator to come see you once you're up there. They want to take that elevator up there to come visit with you and come hang with you. But they can only take the stairs in order to have what you have. They would have had to grind and lose the excuses in order to get those things that you have. They can visit for a minute, but they'd have to take the stairs to really join you in your success. We can have success or we can have excuses, but we cannot have both. Choose one. If you want to have excuses, you can forget about having success. If you want to have success, you got to forget about excuses. So that's my message today, gang. Excuses suck. And make the most out of the opportunities that you have through discipline, through hard work, through focus and drive. And most importantly, that you are responsible for the path you take. Don't waste time with things that don't matter. Get in the game, get in the gym, get to work, get to living. Because this is your life. Lead it. Lead your life. Lead it how you want to lead it. Every second of every day. Take that leadership of your life. I don't know about you, but maybe perhaps that there's a point where you wanted to start something and you find yourself making some excuses. And so here's what I've come to the realization is you can either make excuses or you can produce results. You can either make excuses or you can make things happen. But the reality of it is you just can't do both. All right. You have to learn to become aware of the two voices that you have and everybody has in their head. One is the bitch voice, right? That's the voice that talks you out of all the things that um, you know you should do. And then you have the boss voice. Like the boss voice is the voice that says, hey, motherfucker, why don't you get your fat ass up off the couch and go for a fucking walk, right? It knows what you should do and it tells you what you should do. And then there's this, then there's you in the middle and you're arguing over this, all right? But I'm gonna teach you uh, the, the production pivot trick, which is very simple and will lead to dramatically different outcome in your life at a very small increments of time. So it works like this. It's real simple. Your bitch voice says to you, oh man, you know, you've had a long day, worked really hard today. Uh, you know, you could take today off and, and pick it back up tomorrow, dude, and you'll be good, right? That's the bitch voice. The production pivot is you intercepting that data that's going on in your brain and stopping it right where it is and then using it as a trigger to actually get up and do the thing that this is telling you not to do. 